that's really that's good. okay yeah. all right hebrews we're here now i'm uh i'm pulling up on the place right now and i don't want to be uh too uh inconspicuous but we this just a taste of what it is we're coming to it right now all right we're here on almond road southeast almond road and uh we're gonna take a look at what they have for our so-called future The destination is on your right, 960 Almond Road Southeast. Arrived. Well, Hebrews, we're here now. Uh, what we're looking at here, Hebrews, is Matthew chapter 24, the great tribulations. What we're about to see now, as you can see, it goes way back out in those woods up in there. This is just the tip of the iceberg, what you're seeing here. And they say they got upwards of 250,000 of these disposable caskets that hold from three from three to four bodies a piece. That means it only takes 125,000 or a little 225,000 to hold a million people because each coffin holds three to four people. So, you know, uh, we're really in a dilemma here. Now, I don't really want to walk out there on it, but I think I am to, uh, to see what it's about. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't say private property here. As I walk down to them, you can see they're real plasticky. And my God, they stack one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. As the man said, 17 stacks high. Well, you can say 17 times 125 may be over what I'm looking at here. But you can see, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's not a lot of them Hebrews right here on the front, but the gold mine is in the back. Now, I don't know how far back they'll let us go back here, and I'm not anxious to piss these people off either, tell you that. <laughs> but uh, I really wanna look around. Uh, I see way more that's stacked up in, in there. But it doesn't say anything about we can't go up in there, so I'm gonna go around and take a look at it. Hebrews, this is big business. Other than the CERN, this is the most compelling thing that Hebrews will be facing here, along with the virus. This goes in conjunction with the Georgia Guidestones and Agenda 21 Sustainable Development. It took me a while to get chimp, but I'm chimp. My God, look at that. My God, look at that. Dad, look at that. This is for us and our children, as God said in Matthew chapter 24. <laughs> All the black ones for the black people. And the white ones up here, uh-oh, like a counter. Well, Lord, look, look at here. Jesus, look at this. Lord have mercy. If I wind up in one of them, uh, but hey, I drove for a few hours to get here this morning so my Hebrew people can see this is not a game. Yeah, Hebrews, 
they've got it all done now. This property, I'll probably one of the last ones. As you can see, look down there. There's even more down here, look here. Hebrews, as I said, this is found in Matthew chapter 24, the great tribulations that God spoke of and the, and the, and the start of the birth pains, where things are going to get worse and worse and closer and closer. Now, this should be an additive for us to please. Start paying more attention to Yahweh. Go ahead on and get serious about it. You know, it's room enough for all of us to grow. But these people are deadly, deadly serious. So please, as my wife told me this morning, when I got up this morning, she's feeling a little not motivated to do so, but she got up with me. And she came out here with me to see this thing. And it was only important to me and you Hebrews that we'll look into this uh, great tribulation or as they call it uh, Agenda 21 and as you know the year 21 is when the shot started which uh, which tells you something right there Hebrews now Hebrews I'm going to sign off and uh, this blog will be continued but we got a few more places we're going to check out uh, uh, up in Virginia they have a place up there where the um, the first place where the Hebrews landed in 1619. And me and my wife will be going up there uh, to uh, check that out and probably see a couple of kin people. But uh, but we're doing this for you, Hebrews, so we'll show you that what our God Yahweh says happens. And it's true. It is true. All right, shalom, my Hebrew brothers and sisters. Peace and love be upon you and the Hebrew nation. Shalom.